existing exits as best you can. If that doesn't work, enlarge the exits that are there. And if that doesn't work, make your own. We're not going that far today. But if we needed to, we could remove this door, cut, cut here, cut here, here, and here, remove the seats and completely fold down that, that back side. Maybe cut here and take the back side right off the knee bit. We'll talk about working within the seats and the confines of that in a minute. All right, let's move around back to the other side. Even uninjured people coming out that window could end up injured. Notice this window lacks a hold open device. How efficient is that going to be? Very difficult for us, thank you. We also have roof hatches on the top that, as you see when you go up there, will be almost inaccessible. Taking someone out of a roof hatch is not practical. Even if the vehicle is on its side, it's good for self-rescue, but as far as our purposes go, it's not going to help us too often much. Sound good? All right, let's take a step on the inside. There's two rescuers, preferably basic life support with minimal equipment. One enters from the rear, one enters from the front. As soon as you hit the first seat, removal of surface victims, those minimally injured or non-injured, out the door nearest to them, working from each end towards the middle. When people are directed off the bus, they have to be met. You can't just send them out into the street. They have to be met. You have to have a place for them to go. That has to be established. As supervisors or people first in on a job, you're going to have to make sure that happens. The school bus operator or the vehicle operator is going to be paramount in keeping things organized. They're used to taking directions from the school bus driver. Incorporate the driver into your action plan. You with me? So two people on the bus, one entering from the rear, one entering from the front, meeting the middle. Removing surface victims as you go. If you're not hurt, off the bus. They're met, they're escorted someplace to be secondarily triaged. As you move down and find people that are injured, still 30 seconds per person. Tag them as appropriate using either the wrap tag or whatever tag system you want to use. I prefer no tags, but we have to identify people in some kind of way. And then move on. And as you can see, you get in here, even if you've got a BLS bag with you, you're going to run out of room. You're not going to operate efficiently. So the less you take with you, the better off you are. Remember, primary triage, how much treatment do we do? None. Open the airway if you've got uh, an airway compromise or cardiac arrest situation. Open the airway. Move on to the next person. Sound good? If we need to backboard someone and get them off the vehicle, we've got to come up with a way to do it. Well, as you just saw, instinctively, grabbing that Instinctively, if we get it up here, we can slide it across here of all kinds of room. Except when we get to the back. Remember we said we have only 15 inches of clearance between the head of the door and the top of the seat? Taking somebody out the back, now they're almost 7 feet off the ground. Plus we have got 15 inches of clearance. If we're not careful, we'll clean somebody's nose right off their face as they're going out the back door. That's probably not a viable option. Going out the front's not going to work for us. Trying to make the turn, make a hard turn out that side door, probably not going to be feasible either. So how are we going to make this work? Could we try the side door? Sit down for a second. But the same problem. Picture somebody on this backboard. How much clearance do we have and how high off the ground are we going to be? So what are we going to do, folks? Well, we could go out sideways. However, based on your experience, how easy is it to keep someone immobilized properly in a lateral position? Very difficult. Here's what we do. We have to come up with a modification to our technique. Excuse me, gents. Right to the floor, Nat. Now, this board will slide fairly easily across the floor. So the challenge becomes, how do we get the person appropriately onto the backboard? KED in place, move to the backboard, slide the board out the rear exit. The board will come out just about shoulder height, easy for us to grab, right to a waiting gurney. Sound good?